In this video, um, I'm going to go through Twitter and um, really try and cover as much as I can in about five minutes. Now, I really don't have to say much about how to use Twitter in a basic sense. It's it's very straightforward. There's a box there you type into it. Um, but there's a number of things you can type about. The obvious thing is what's happening. So, you know, I'm recording a screencast on Twitter. But that's actually the least useful thing of Twitter. That, that's useful for kind of maintaining connections with people, but as a journalist, it's probably the least regular thing you're going to be doing. Um, if you're on the way to interview someone, then that's going to be more useful. You're inviting conversation. And the other thing might be that you reply to someone. So, you know, for example. So it's a way to make contacts, it's a way to find people of interest, um, way to find interviewees, sources, leads, all kinds of things. So that's the basic way of using Twitter, but there's obviously more interesting things besides. When you set up on Twitter, the first thing you're going to need to do is find people to follow and there are all sorts of ways of doing this so um, one for example is wefollow.com let's say you're interested in um, let's pick an easy one technology then you can have a look any fun useful and relevant. Um, there's Twello.com which is a kind of yellow pages for Twitter. So here you'll see you've got different categories so environmentalists might be useful for a particular piece and so on. And there are all kinds of other Twitter directories. Now, you can start to worry about whether you're following too many people, but um, for me personally, I follow as many people as possible and manage that through lists. So, if I go to my lists here, for example, Met in Person is a specific list of people that, yeah, that's right, I've met in person. Um, you can see that um, there are uh, people from particular places, there are people on the master's degree that I was teaching, people on undergraduate degrees, and so on. So it's um, easier to then follow those people through, uh, either through Twitter like this, so this is just people I've met in person, or you can use applications like TweetDeck, Tweety, and so on. Two other um, websites that you should try as well once you've signed up to Twitter. The first one is Pacratius, which basically will add everything, every link that you tweet to your delicious bookmarking service. So that's really useful, um, a really useful way to quickly bookmark things that you're tweeting about. So instead of having to use Twitter and Delicious, you just use Twitter and it will tweet it for you. And the other thing is that if you add any tags or anything with a hash before it, so let's say hash journalism, hash BBC, before the link, then it will tag it with all hashtags. One other service you should try is Twitter feed. Um, once you sign in, this allows you to publish any RSS feed to your Twitter account. This is really useful because what you can do then is do the reverse. You can take your delicious RSS feed and make sure that everything you bookmark is tweeted. And so it will work both ways. If you want to bookmark something, it will tweet it. If you want to tweet it, it will bookmark. Try it out. Play around. That's Twitter.